in this tutorial we will be creating this part this is a part from the wooden block assembly kits that or the activities that you will do in intro to engineering you'll have to design a part and then assemble them all together as a group so first let's create a part so we click on the ISO part and we will save it to where we need it and this to me resembled like an archway so I'm going to name it archway and once you have the dimensions uh, we can start at it uh, here are your draw features uh, drawing lines and sketches so first you need to draw a base sketch of what one of the faces of this part looks like so I'm gonna start with a rectangle and I'm going to do by three points now when you are drawing sketches you have the option of uh, locking two planes and that will help you stay on the same plane um, so I will choose the ZX plane and lock to that so I'll just hover over that and click lock now I am locked in this plane if I would want to change planes I would first have to unlock the plane so I would go over here to this button and click unlock so now I am free to choose different planes so I'll hover over this plane again that's the plane I want so I'll lock it now I measured the square part of it to be 100 by 50 millimeters so first I'll click on the corner here and drag over now as you see I'm dragging over the width down here is changing and I can either click wherever I want or just type in the dimension I desire and click enter uh, now you can also put it at different angles but I just want it straight so click to set that dimension and now will be the other dimension so I'll drag up and I will type in 50 for my height 50 millimeters so now I have the face the one face of the part um, drawn and so now I'll go ahead and uh, make this three-dimensional now I'm still in the rectangle feature so I have to exit that so I'll go over here to my select pane and click the select tool and now I'm free to do various things so what I want to do for this the easiest way to extrude it they call which make it three-dimensional so I'll go to this plane click on it and there's an extrude handle I can extrude it in two different directions uh, I'll just choose to extrude it this way so you want to drag that and you can place it wherever you want but I know I want 25 millimeters thick so now I have the base square of my part and so I know I have to create a circular cutout like right here so I will use now in the draw table the circle feature and I will just choose to use a default by center point now the, e the nice thing about this is this circle is centered about the center of this top line so as you see I'm going along this line say wait let me let me lock my plane first so I'll lock it on this plane so I'll click the lock button now I'm on this plane so I want to move along this line so here it just has a standard thing to the right of the cursor and here it changes to an endpoint that's what endpoint means so I want to find the middle point and it'll find it for me so I go along up oh, there's the middle point so now I can select my circle and I know the circle has a diameter of 50 millimeters which is shown down here there's the radius so I'm just gonna type in 50 for the diameter now I have a circle now I'm still in the circle feature so I want to go back to the select tool and all I really want to do is cut out this section so I'll click on it to display the extrude handle and drag it backwards and that's how you would um, cut out that feature now you can see there's a leftover sketch there 
Um, we really don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to hit the delete key to get rid of that. So that's our first part. So I want to just click save again. And you want to constantly save your work. Um, um, intermediate saves, let's say, so that you don't lose your work. 